Hi guys, I'm Dheeraj. Again, I'm here to discuss another good problem from uh, GATE 2019 EC, okay? Uh, so, the subject is electronic devices and circuit, okay? And uh, it is a part of LSI design and uh, the topic is CMOS inverter, okay? So, let us read the problem first. A CMOS inverter designed to have a midpoint voltage V1 is equal to half of the VDD, okay? As shown in the figure, has the following parameter. VDD is given as C volt and VLCX is given as 100 microampere per body square and VTN is given as 0.7 volt for, for N MOS and VPCX is given as 40 microampere per body square and VTP is given as 0.9 for P MOS. Okay, the ratio of WIL for N MOS transistor to WIL for P MOS transistor is equal to okay and you have to answer in three decimal places. Okay, so let us see what is given in this question. They have given this VTC, okay, output voltage versus input voltage characteristic, okay, for CMOS inverter, okay. So, let us see first how we are going to draw the CMOS inverter, okay, how CMOS inverter looks like. So, we can say there would be, you know, P type, uh, P MOS, okay, and there would be N MOS, okay, and uh, here you can see both gate are sorted and it is here V in, okay, input voltage is applied and here we take output, okay. So, this is inverter circuit, okay, CMOS inverter and this is VDD, okay. And what they have given here is, when V did, when V in is VDD by 2, okay, output is also VDD by 2, okay, they have mentioned this one, okay. So, we can say that when we plot the IV characteristic here, IV, okay. ID versus VDS, okay. Initially, we will plot uh, for different input, you know, for different input, what shall be the current here, okay. So, we can say that this is how, this is how ID, IV characteristic looks like for P, for NMOS uh, transistor, okay. And we can join here, extrapolate, okay, and the reference point here is 0, you can see here, it is a ground, for N MOS transistor, the reference point is 0, okay, and we can join here, okay, so this reason is known as linear reason, this reason, linear, okay, and this reason is known as this reason, cut off, Okay, and this reason is known as saturation. Okay, where MOSFET works as an amplifier. Okay, and if we plot IV characteristic for P MOS transistor, so we can say that in the same uh, graph we are going to plot also IV characteristic for uh, P MOS. So we can say that the reference point here will be VDD. So you can see here. For P MOS, this will be source, you know, this will be gate and this will be drain here. And this is gate, this is source, okay. So here the reference point here is VDD, okay. So we can say that again there will be a parabola kind of thing, okay. And we can uh, say that uh, here for different VGS, for different VSC, okay, for different input, we'll plot here and uh, okay. We can join here for different input, okay. So we can say that here for IV characteristic for N MOS and IV characteristic for P MOS, they are intersecting each other, okay. So if they intersect here, okay, here. So we can say that how we gonna de uh, decide whether P MOS and N MOS are working what in which reason, okay? So from the characteristic itself, we can say that P MOS is working in linear and N MOS is working cutoff or saturation, whatever, right? So we can say that if intersection of uh, you know for both the transistor IV characteristic, you know intersection of IV characteristic, they are intersecting. Suppose you know suppose in this region, if they are intersecting here, okay, here, if they are intersecting in this region, okay, in uh, where N MOS is in linear and P MOS is in 
saturation okay so we can say that in this region n mos will be in linear and p mos will be in saturation or we can say in this region in this region okay both transistor will be in both transistor will be in uh, where saturation okay and in this region so we are going to fix one threshold voltage here you can see this vdd and this is zero okay so the mid of uh, where uh, both transistor IV characteristics are intersecting, okay? So this point is known as, you know, this point. This point is known as logic threshold voltage. Logic threshold voltage, okay? This point is known as logic threshold voltage where VDL is equal to VDD by 2. Where input is VDD by 2, okay? So that is the design problem, okay? If input is VDD by 2, our tran both transistors are working in the same region, that is saturation, okay? So in this VTC, they have mentioned the same, okay? They have mentioned the same. So our transistor, both transistors are working in, you know, in saturation, okay? So we can say both guys are working in saturation here, sat, okay? So we can say that whatever current will flow from PMOS, you know, so the same current will flow from NMOS kind of transistor, okay? So we can say that here, IDP equal to IDN, okay? So from the fact that we know that what is the current equation for the saturation region, we can say that it will be half mu n C U X mu P C U X, okay? Mu P C half mu P C U X W by L for P, okay? Vsg minus, you know, Vtp square, okay, equal to, for n mos transistor, it will be half mu n Cux, okay, W by L, and, you know, Vgs minus Vtn, okay, square, okay. So, this is the current equation in case of when both transistors are working in saturation, okay? So, from both the side, we can say that from both the side, half of will be knocked off, okay? Half of will be knocked off and we have been given mu p c u x here and we have been given mu n c u x, okay? In the question itself, okay? So, from here, we can say that this is v s g, so we can say v s minus v g, okay? And this is Vg minus Vs, okay, for N MOS and for P MOS. This is P, okay, Vsgp. So we can take the ratio here because uh, we have to find uh, W by L for N and W by L for P, okay. So ratio of the two they are asking. So we can say that it will be W by L for N upon W by L for P, okay. It will be equal to, you know, mu Cx will go that side, okay. Mu C X will go that side, or we can say this W L by P is going that side. Okay, then only we will be able to take the ratio here. So we can say that V V S minus V G. Okay, so this will remain here only. So Mu C X is given as forty. Okay, and Mu C X is given as hundred. Okay, Mu P C X is given as forty, and Mu C X is given as hundred. Okay, in the question we can see. Okay. And uh, here, Vs minus Vg. So you can see here, Vs means Vdd. V Vdd is given as, you know, 3 volt. And half of the Vdd will be 1.5, okay? So we can say that Vs minus v Vg, okay, here for P. So it will be 1.5 and this is, you know, 3 volt. So we can say that this will be 3 minus 1.5. And Vdp is given as, for P MOS, it is given as uh, 0.9. Okay, simply we are just plugging all those information which is given in the question, okay, because we already found out the relation here and we could came to know that in which region both transistors are working and at what condition, you know, both transistors are working at in saturation region, okay, because from this IV characteristic we can claim that both transistors are working in saturation because this logic to sort we have designed here. This is VTL equal to VDD by 2. Actually, why we are saying this is design problem? Because your VTL depends on the parameter of, you know, 
many parameters. We can say W by L ratio and all those things. Okay, so we can say three minus one point five minus zero point nine. Okay, and uh, it will be V S minus V V G minus V S. So we can say the one point five minus zero here. Okay, and V T M. See, it will be one point five minus you know zero minus uh, the threshold voltage for uh, n mos is given as point seven. This will be whole square. Okay, so we can calculate this you know this uh, guy. Okay, and we'll get here zero point you know two to five zero point two to five. Okay. The ratio we will get here is zero point two to five. Okay, so this will be the answer because they are asking till three decimal. Okay, so in this manner we can find out that the ratio of W by L. Okay, for both kind of transistor. Okay, so let us recapitulate what we have done here. You know, this problem was from the subject EDC. Okay, and the topic was CMOS inverter. Basically. This kind of question already has been asked in the uh, gate previous year. Okay, so you might have seen this kind of question. But basically, where people fail, where aspirant fail or student while preparing fail, they don't understand. They are unable to decide. Okay, in which uh, region of operation our transistor is working. Okay, so based on IV characteristic, you know, intersection, you can plot this IV characteristic. Okay. And by inspection, you would be able to tell, you know, if our input is less than VT by two, okay. So our transistor is working linear. If I talk about N MOS, okay, and if I talk about P MOS, it will be working, you know, uh, saturation, okay. At VT by two, when input is VT by two, okay, both transistor will be working saturation, okay. Then only we will be able to find we can equate both current equations, and we can find, uh, you know. From the fact that VTC is also given in this question, okay. So in this manner, we can find uh, the ratio of the two, okay. Our uh, ratio of uh, ratio of the aspect ratio of the two, okay. So I hope you might have understood this problem. And uh, if you have any doubt, okay, so you can comment, okay. And please share this video among your friends and come to know how to find and how to decide. In fact, how to determine in which region our transistors are working, okay. By looking at uh, you know IV characteristic and intersect point of intersection, you know, so you would be coming to know, okay. And for N MOS the reference point is zero, and for P MOS the reference point is VDD, okay. And the half of the VDD will be the logic threshold. This point, if you are able to determine, then entire problem is easy, okay. So in this way we design actual CMOS inverter. So I hope you might have liked this video, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah.